Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video on how to make a lantern featuring a quote and a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm using this Pringle can. I'm going to cut away two large rectangles and mark the area that I want to cut away. I'm basically going to cut most of this away. I'm just leaving a little part at the top, a little part at the bottom, and two thin strips on each side so I can glue my paper later. So here I am just cutting away the part that we won't need. After I cut this part away, I'm just going to go back and clean up the little ridges and edges. And then I'm going to work on the other side of the can being really careful not to cut into the two thin strips that I want left behind. So this is how it came out, just like that. And notice how I left a little bit of thickness of cardboard on each end. Now I'm just going to measure out a piece of printer paper. I'm going to roll it to make sure I have enough and I'm going to cut away some from the top and some from the end. I'm just going to give a little measure and cut away the excess. This is the paper that's going to be the lantern part where we're going to glue on um, a favorite Martin Luther King Jr. quote and a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So now I'm just going to write out this quote that I really like from him. And here's a really nice picture that I printed up. I love this picture, it looks really nice. It has his whole face and a little bit of his shoulders. I'm going to cut around that later on to glue that onto this. Now that we have some of the parts done, it's time to start assembling this lantern. So I'm gluing down the paper onto the Pringle can cardboard. I'm using hot glue, but you can use tape working on the inside of the can or even regular glue but you'll just have to hold on to it for a while so the paper doesn't uncurl and come off the can. Something a little strange happened. I did measure out the paper and it was a perfect fit before, but now it's too short. So I recommend if you do this project, don't even um, cut your paper a little shorter. I have to add on this strip, but it'll work out okay, but it will look a lot nicer if I didn't have to add on that extra piece of paper right there. Now it's time to just connect all of the pieces together. I'm going to cut around Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And you can even just uh, print up a whole giant picture of him and use that for your lantern. That would look great too. But I just thought it would look great to have a quote on one side and his picture on the other. So I'm just gluing around and I think I'm going to put him on the seam to try to hide that little bit of area right there where I had to add the extra paper. I have this small jar and it fits perfectly inside of this can. Um, that is where we're going to put the little lantern lights later. Right here I'm going to cut out some little circles to make some peace signs and to make some hearts. I haven't drawn a peace sign in a while. For some reason, it looks like a Mercedes sign. I forgot to draw the extra line, but I'm going to add that soon. 
I don't know how I could forget that. I used to draw peace signs a lot, but it seems like I just forgot for a second there. And I'm just using the leftover pieces of paper. You don't even need an extra paper for this part. This is just little scraps to make more art with. And I just chose symbols of hearts and peace signs because when I think about Martin Luther King, I just think of him as such a peaceful and loving man. Now I'm going to glue down these peace and heart symbols and I'll just make a little pattern at the top using some regular glue. And that's how it looks so far. And now it's time to add the lights. So um, I had this light decoration. I just pulled off the decorations that were around the lights just so I can use this. And I glued them to the inside of that empty can and I glued the top of the can to the top of that Pringle container. So I have this yogurt container which is a perfect fit for the bottom of this lantern. I'm just going to cut a little hole around the bottom of that container there so that I can put a little cardboard later in there with a part that the battery pack can fit through and then I'll glue it all together. I'm sorry that the video doesn't show this um, because I had cut out but I did use a piece of cardboard from a pizza box with a little circle cut out there and I taped in the battery pack. So you can see that there's a yogurt container, a little circle of cardboard, and now I'm going to use this sock to cover the whole thing at the bottom so it'll look really nice. And then I just attached the lantern to the yogurt container with hot glue. And I have some excess material here so I'm going to cut that away. So here's how it looks I'm just sitting down on the stand next to my little angel statue and bird there and look this is what it looks like underneath and it's time to turn off the lights so we can see how this came out great. I really like how it came out. The one thing I would change is I would plan better where I'm going to put Martin Luther King Jr's face and the quote. This way I don't have that shadow from the Pringle can, the two pieces that were left behind passing through them. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. We have a lot of videos on our channel. Thanks again. Bye.